Hello, this is Anke for Golden Camera. I have the pleasure to talk to Kate Winslet today. Kate, okay. after this movie, um, did you crave to go on a big vacation to the Bahamas, anywhere where it's warm? Do you know what? No. I didn't, I, I didn't want to leave Vancouver. We absolutely loved being in Canada. Um, it was an incredible experience. And I, I much prefer cold than hot. I really, truly do. So I was very, very excited, which is different for Idris. He does not like the cold. <laughs> and as he will tell you himself, he would complain quite a lot about that. But I would be like, come on, let's go. And we'd get in that helicopter and we'd fly up to 10,000 feet every day. And I would just treat the whole experience like a wildlife tour. So I would spot the mountain goats and the moose I saw one day. And it was just, it was just incredible. And I was very much aware of how lucky we were to have this experience because there's very few people in the world who ever get to go up that high and see these wonderful things that we saw and I was so awestruck by how beautiful the world is and um, it was really really overwhelming and wonderful experience I just I just loved it I didn't want it to end. Mm -hmm. so. I was thinking if I'm ever stranded somewhere I wouldn't mind to have Ben around uh, uh, Idris's character because he's a doctor, so you know, he can, you know, he's, he's pretty smart, uh, so he can help me and survive. So yes. who would you bring if you had the choice, of course, uh, if you were ever stranded? Who would you bring along? Can I have two people? Sure. Okay, so the first one I would bring, honestly, would be my husband, Ned, because he's absolutely brilliant in extreme situations, in survival circumstances. He knows exactly what to do. So even when we would go up the mountain every day, he would pack for me my emergency pack, and it had head torch, flares, phone battery, which didn't work anyway because it was too cold. <laughs> and he found for me, actually, some amazing battery-powered gloves, heated gloves, which I was the only one who had them. And everybody was like, okay, can we borrow your gloves for a minute? I've lost sensation in my fingers. I'd be like, sure. And I had a scarf, a battery powered scarf that he found. So he's he's absolutely brilliant. He always knows about the right things to eat and all of that. And the second person I would have would be James Cameron because James Cameron just knows everything about anything. And if the world was coming to an end, I would want to be with Jim Cameron, most definitely. And he, he also, he'd have a plan already. Like he would absolutely know exactly how to handle everything. He'd know the quickest way out of there. So yeah. So, my husband, Ned, and James Cameron. Well, I changed my mind. I'm not taking Ben. I'm taking you because you prepared things to your husband. <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah, I would be. I'd have everything. I'd, ha I'd have food for everybody. I'd have hot drinks. Oh, you're my bestest friend now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.